From its potential to treat cancer and edit out disease-causing mutations in embryos, to its ability to revolutionize food production and even revive extinct mammals, the broad applications of CRISPR are staggering. CRISPR is often referred to as one of the most significant breakthroughs of this century and arguably the last 50 years or so. The winners of the 2018 Kavli Prize in Nanoscience are Jennifer Doudna, Emmanuel Charpentier, and Virginia Schicksnes for their pioneering work on CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 can be explained as a Swiss army knife that allows to repair genes. Cas9 can be used to correct mutations in human DNA that cause genetic disease. It means that laboratories don't have to have a lot of money. I think CRISPR is democratizing technology. Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier first met at a conference in Puerto Rico. You had this beautiful example of a serendipitous meeting between two scientists who went back to their respective places of employment, Jennifer in Berkeley, Emmanuel in Sweden, but continued to foster this cross-continental partnership. Doudna and Charpentier wanted to understand how Cas9 naturally recognizes and cleaves DNA in microorganisms. They proposed that this mechanism could also be used as a tool to edit DNA in other types of cells, including human cells. It was a fledgling field. It felt like a bit of a gamble to work on something that didn't seem to have a lot of interest, but it was also this big open territory to make new discoveries. While Doudna and Charpentier took part in this exciting cross-continental collaboration, a team of scientists in Lithuania were also making headway to understand CRISPR. Virginia Jasixness is a name that I think deserves to be mentioned a lot more when it comes to our understanding of how CRISPR immune systems work, but also having really reached this understanding of how Cas9 works as an enzyme right around the same time as Jennifer and Emmanuel's research team. It was really an eureka moment, and we were all very excited about that. Many scientists believe this new technology should be used with caution, particularly when it comes to making genetic changes that would propagate to future generations. Despite these concerns, the positive impact that Doudna, Charpentier, and Schicksny's invention could have on the world is irrefutable. My ultimate wish would be that it could be used to treat serious human genetic disorders. The possibilities for using CRISPR in different ways feels limitless. The thing that's amazing is that there's always more to be discovered.